But what is the um, what is the data on this very popular supplement now that used to only be sort of reserved for gym bros maximizing muscle gains? But you know, there's lots of talk now about its implications on mental health. What can you tell us about creatine? Essentially, it's a supplement that allows you to, for lack of a better word, reuse energy or ATP more efficiently. So how it works in a muscular sense is you take creatine, you get it, you can get it from foods, uh, but more so in this uh, discussion, speaking from supplementation. So the actual like scoops of creatine, um, what creatine does is you ingest it, it stores in your muscles um, and also your brain as phosphocreatine as almost this sort of backup store. So when your, your body is running out of energy, it can use this phosphocreatine to regenerate ATP a lot more rapidly than, than the classic processes. And so that allows you to get the more reps in the gym, more progress. And the thought is for depression, there's a whole bioenergetic view of depression now. Um, looking at you know what's going on from that sense. And, and as I mentioned, Creatine can also replenish some of the uh, phosphocreatine stores in your brain. And we know in depression, some of the traditional pathways and, and we, we hear buzzwords like mitochondrial dysregulation, all mm-hmm. these different things kind mm-hmm. of yeah. going on. This yeah. is what makes your brain essentially inefficient to generate energy in its usual ways. And what happens is um, we think that creatine may actually deplete some of these phosphocreatine stores faster than you can get with diet alone. Because when I'm talking about supplementing creatine, five grams of creatine that you get in a single scoop, you would need to eat about five pounds of, of red meat, right. which again, it's possible, um, but it's to, to counteract this little scoop to what you're eating, it's, it's a lot more difficult to do that. So the thought behind it is that, you know, using creatine to replenish these stores, it's not going to cure depression. It's creatine is a depression is not a creatine deficiency but it may help with some of the symptoms associated. So the low energy, the low motivation, even sleeping Mm -hmm. difficulties, or as you spoke about with Brandon, the sleep deficits that are associated with depression, maybe this can serve as more of a band-aid to help the person get going. Um, And and to get into the clinical trials, there have been a handful of clinical trials published on this so far. All of them so far have paired it with a first-line measure for depression. So the majority have paired it with antidepressants, so creatine plus antidepressants. One recent trial, I think in 2025, paired it with therapy, so creatine plus cognitive behavioral therapy. And they've largely all found a very similar thing where creatine leads to an improved response, but also a faster response. Um, Mm. A lot of these trials are still pretty small. They're not on the scale of your your standard large-scale antidepressant trials. So the results are still preliminary, but it's a very interesting early signal. 